Welcome to the Energy Policy Simulator, an open source computer model designed to help policymakers choose the best policies to reduce pollution and achieve the United States energy goals. Anyone can use the simulator by navigating to energypolicy.solutions and clicking here to enter the simulator. What you see is an interface that allows you to interact with the model via your web browser. On the right is a graph showing the total greenhouse gas, or CO2 equivalent, emissions from the United States through 2030 if no additional policies were enacted. This is called the business as usual case. Also, you see the United States emissions target from the recent bilateral agreement between the U.S. and China. The simulator allows you to construct your own custom policy package and to see its effects on emissions and financial cost. On the left, you see a menu of different sectors, transportation, buildings and appliances, electricity supply, etc. These are drop-down menus that contain various policy options. Let's expand the cross-sector menu to show the relevant policies that are available in the simulator. Let's begin with the carbon tax policy. The slider at the top allows you to set the carbon tax rate to anything you choose between zero and one hundred dollars per ton CO2 equivalent. The simulator provides a brief description of the policy, tells you its implementation schedule, in this case it is phased in linearly from 2016 to 2030, and provides some reference points that might help guide a user who wants to know what values would be reasonable. It also provides links to web pages that describe how to design a carbon tax well and how the model handles this policy on a technical level. Let's set a carbon tax of $50 per ton in 2030. The graph is animated in real time, showing you the difference in emissions between the business as usual case and the scenario we are designing. You can turn on many different policies at once, and the model calculates how these different policies will interact. For example, let's turn on a policy in the transportation sector. Fuel economy standards for light-duty vehicles, such as cars and SUVs. Standards set by the Environmental Protection Agency will raise the fuel economy of new cars to 54.5 miles per gallon in 2025. Those standards are part of the business as usual case. The policy lever in the simulator allows the user to specify an additional increase on top of those enacted standards. Let's set it to 22% additional miles per gallon. As you add policies to a policy package, they are listed in this box in the lower left. This allows you to see, at a glance, the contents of your policy package. We have included several policy packages to get you started. We can turn them on in the Comparisons pane. We have a recommended set of policies designed to hit the 2025 U.S. target, a set of policies designed to comply with the Clean Power Plan, and a set of policies that minimize CO2 equivalent emissions within the limits of the policy levers of the model. Let's enable the first two scenarios. You can see that the two scenarios we enabled are now added to the graph. The policy package we designed in purple is already stronger than a package that just meets the Clean Power Plan emissions targets in blue, but it falls far short of the U.S. target in green. CO2 equivalent emissions is just one of many outputs you can visualize. This menu allows you to select from a wide variety of graphs. One example, electricity output by type, shows the amount of generation from coal, natural gas, nuclear, hydro, wind, solar, and biomass power plants. The model also calculates the change in capital and operational expenditures as a result of each policy package. Another output, monetized public health and climate benefits, reports the gains from avoided premature deaths due to airborne particulates and avoided climate damages. There are many more features here to explore. 
too many for this video, and the web interface we've been using is just the start. Full documentation is available online. You can download the model, and you can see and change any part of the model, including the input data. Thank you for taking a look at the Energy Policy Simulator. With a package of smart energy and emissions policies, the U.S. can realize its goals for a clean, affordable, and reliable energy system.